Good day to you, sir. Just bringing this toggle through and driving off the other city. Goodbye. <laughs>
freaked out, lagged. This section was floating crooked, and this section was doing, I don't know what it was doing. But uh, now you can see we've got the two sections connected quite nicely. And again, with this modular build, everything just sort of works. I'm going to get rid of these two tools so we don't actually glitch something out. But everything just sort of works really, really well. I mean, everything kind of fits together nicely. You've got this nice, really straight stretch. So we're just going to go grab that truck again. And this time, we're going to go get the uh, the bigger trailer there. The, uh, the box trailer, let's call it. All right, so backing up, backing up. Done. Locked. Up, close the back doors. Perfect. All right, let's go over to the freight depot. So I know we uh, we scrap mechanic guys. We talk about this a lot, and uh, I can't stress it enough, but. The game really, really needs that new engine, and it really needs a new engine that's going to perform. And I really, really hope it does, because this Hover City is an absolutely 100% awesome project, and I love working on it, and I really hope that there's a day where I can have all the sections of the city connected up together without seeing this kind of pitiful frame rate. But as it is now, I mean, I don't even know if I can get this 18-wheeler trailer up in here. Oh, it's kind of jammed up there, isn't it? Come on. So you just kind of back up here and, uh, you know, get it on. I know this works. This is the actual trailer that I used to set up the elevator initially. And then we just kind of hit that again. Hit that again. There we go. And you see there, this elevator will pull us back up into... And that is why this door is actually the only door out of the three that opens outwards. And so it doesn't get in the way of the truck. And you can see there, voila, we have the truck on the Hover City. Super laggy because there are now four bodies. Well, I guess the Hover City plus the truck plus the trailer. So it's only really three bodies, but still. There you go. We can just drive over onto the Hover City section over here. Right in the control center. Good day to you, sir. Just bringing this cargo through and driving off the Hover City. Goodbye. All right, so we're going to go check out the details with the freight warehouse. And to do that, we need one other vehicle. So there is another vehicle that goes with this build. And I am really, really excited by it. And that is this vehicle right here. Now, this is sort of... I'm going to I'm gonna say this right now. There's, there's two ways to make a vehicle in Scrap Mechanic. And one is to make it look aesthetically pleasing. And the other is to make it look functional. And ideally, you'd like to have both. You'd like to have the functionality of the vehicle that you intended. Plus, you'd like to have the aesthetics. And I was really trying to make a micro forklift. Now, with the scale of the Hover City, everything is absolutely tiny, and I decided that this was really the best way to make a forklift. So this is the little micro forklift I came up with. Really, really small, about as small as I thought I could make it. And it's got, you can see one button there, we'll move it up to that height. Press number two, and it'll move it up to the second height and tilt it back a little bit. And the reason why is if we take the forklift into the warehouse, which we can also do. So we just bring this elevator down again, and uh, usually you just activate the forklift up one level just to get those forks over the initial little bump and then lower them down like so. Get the forklift up onto this section, doesn't really matter where. Press either of the green buttons, the one inside or the one outside, they both work. Of course, zoom in so you can actually see what's going on. And uh, voila, we've got a forklift uh, somehow in the warehouse. And so this is really cool. Now, the crates that are in here right now, they're actually static crates, but uh, you could, if you wanted to, put a crate like so. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Put a crate down like so. Let's see if we can get a crate here. You know, this is whatever this crate is. I don't know what it is. Now, of course, you do need that one block spacer to kind of hold the crate above the ground. Like that. And I totally have this rotated the wrong way. That's okay. We will get it with the forklift. So we're just going to come over here. Whoops, I'm, it's so hard driving on blocks. It's so much different than driving on uh, actual dirt. So let's come over here, go over here like so. Just line it up, line it up. Boom. Kind of, get on there. There we go. And then press the one button. Look at that. Now we can put it on the first shelf. Or we can press the two button and get it up onto that really, really high shelf. Or we could completely screw this up. That works too. Oh goodness, don't drop that. 
Back up, back up. There we go. And back up. Get out. Okay. Get out without wrecking it. Ah, there we go. There are some limitations with the design, obviously. Um, we are in a very cramped warehouse, and the reason that all this space is sort of open, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're lazy, you didn't want to put up extra shelves, and, well, I actually had a shelf here too originally, but this thing isn't exactly the most maneuverable, and so it, uh, it needed some extra space to sort of maneuver its way around, and, uh, that's when I realized, now we're just going to, you know, we're just going to do this true, true warehouse fashion, we're just going to take the forks there, and I'll just push the box a little bit, perfect, just slide that up. So you could play around with that, you could have some things, you could also take the uh, the forklift here and drive it up to here and load some of the pallets onto a truck that is now off the section. But overall guys, I'm really really happy with this section. Uh, I know that a lot of people were asking for a big elevator and that's sort of what this is. This big elevator um, really meant mostly for trucks. That's sort of the, the main purpose of it. If you wanted to uh, use just the cars, all the trucks, all the small cars and stuff, they all fit on the parking section elevator, which have, which has already been made and it's already up on the workshop. Um, but this is really for the 18 wheelers and those big trucks. I don't think I'm gonna make anything that doesn't fit on this elevator. But if I do, I'll just have to make another elevator section. So I think the next step with the Hover City is to get all those basic utilities set up, get the fire station, get the police station, uh, get an ambulance, like a hospital and an ambulance type combo, uh, maybe get a bank with some vaults as well. Definitely need a bank is for sure for the Hover City banking. Um, so definitely gonna get more towards the utility sections of the Hover City, uh, maybe come out with a few more housing sections. And then after all that, we're definitely gonna move into some crazy stuff like an airport for sure uh, needs to happen and some other things. So as always guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button down below. It really, really helps out the channel a lot, so much actually. You have no idea. It's really, really great to see all you guys. And I really love the support you guys have been giving me on this series. So again, if you guys wanna see more of this, Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time.